Hey everyone, hope you guys are enjoying Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak and whichever platform you're choosing to play it on. And today I'm going to host a little bit of a discussion topic regarding the upcoming PlayStation Showcase event that Sony just recently revealed a few days back. Where they're essentially going to be hosting their ETE3 type uh, digital presentation. These are of course the big summer type of events where big game reveals are showcased. And this is pretty much going to be PlayStation slash Sony's biggest reveal event for this season. There's not going to be an E3 so usually every you know, uh, console uh, manufacturer Xbox is expected to have one in early June. Maybe we're going to get a Nintendo Direct sometime in June as well. And PlayStation is going to be hosting theirs on May 24th at 1 p.m. Pacific time, 4 p.m. East Coast time. So essentially by the time that this video goes live, pretty much tomorrow. And essentially what I've seen lately is there's been a lot of discussion regarding maybe the potential reveal of Monster Hunter 6, Monster Hunter World 2, Monster Hunter Paradise, uh, Gen 6, whatever they end up calling the next mainline Monster Hunter game that is not Monster Hunter Now, that is of course the mobile game which has already been a closed beta, a open beta is expected early next month. So, you know, they're not going to be talking about that here. But there is a lot of rumors and a lot of speculation that Capcom could potentially be showcasing something. Maybe a teaser trailer, uh, just a very quick screen, a splash screen, maybe a logo or something. There's been a lot of rumors lately as to could this potentially actually happen during this PlayStation Showcase essentially tomorrow. Uh, so I kind of want to give my feedback on this. What do I actually think regarding that? And not only that, but I certainly want to open the conversation up to you guys in the comments. Do let me know. Would you like for this to happen? Now, essentially, uh, originally, a lot of rumors were posted originally from Japan, uh, from someone who allegedly claimed that they had seen a full-on list of the PlayStation Showcase presentation. This was posted, I believe, originally yesterday afternoon or late at night, but here it's like very much early in the morning for us here in North America. And they were essentially confirming that uh, Capcom would have some showing. They would have some sort of uh, Resident Evil DLC for Resident Evil 4, it will also showcase something with Primordial, maybe. Uh, they could go ahead and showcase something with Street Fighter 6, which I believe this past weekend was an open beta as well uh, for PlayStation consoles, maybe Xbox as well, I'm not too sure. And then something would be teased at the back end of their little segment, and essentially they would just showcase and flash something regarding the new mainline Monster Hunter game potentially being revealed here in this presentation. Now, the end of the day here is what we're looking at is that we know that Ryoto Sujimoto spoke early in the beginning of this year in 2023 that they would showcase something at Tokyo Game Show. Now, Tokyo Game Show is set to happen somewhere around September 10th to through the 15th, somewhere around that time window, I believe it's like the 11th or the 12th. So we are still a few months away from there. A lot of people have expected that at Gamescom in late or mid July, I believe is when that takes place. Uh, they would probably showcase something there that would be for the European audiences, but of course, everyone would be able to see it. Uh, maybe potentially they could go ahead and something do, uh, do something there. But of course, nothing is set in stone. And at the end of the day, PlayStation is putting a lot of focus on their like big presentation showcase IP event because lately they have not been, you know, pretty much getting their way when it comes to just uh, fan favor, if you will. A lot of the games have been not necessarily doing crazy. This presentation is going to be talking about PlayStation VR 2 as well, which is not really doing all that well. If you actually take a closer look at sales uh, reports, that game, that console is just not doing well. They're not selling a lot of consoles. They're not selling a lot of VR headsets. The games are not necessarily appearing. They're not set to release anytime soon. I let the very least big flagship games. So they're struggling on that end. Um, you know, sales for the PlayStation 5 seem to be doing relatively well. But when it comes to like big games actually releasing continually, we haven't necessarily seen that. They do have Spider-Man. So we do expect that to appear at the very least in this presentation in some shape or form. But specifically, when you take a closer look at the blog update, which they did specifically share, they make it sound like they have a lot more things to show than just first party stuff they talk about it's almost time to see what's next in the playstation showcase broadcasting live next wednesday which essentially is tomorrow 
1 p.m. Pacific Time, 4 p.m. East Coast Time. The show will run aboard an hour, focusing on PlayStation 5 and PlayStation VR 2 games in development from top studios around the world, so they're not saying first party only. Expect a glimpse at several new creations from PlayStation Studios, as well as spellbinding spell games from our third party partners and indie creators. So, of course, they're opening the gates for pretty much any third party supplier, and this is where Capcom comes in. The live broadcast starts starts next Wednesday, once again, 9, um, 9 p.m. British time, but of course, 1 p.m. Pacific time, 4 p.m. Western time on YouTube and Twitch. Uh, regarding co-streaming and stuff, they provide some information there, but nothing necessarily too relevant here. So at the end of the day, anyone can actually go ahead and present uh, something for this specific event. Obviously, not Nintendo or Microsoft with all of their studios, but of course, uh, we do expect third-party things to appear here. I think we would be foolish to not expect Capcom to take uh, advantage of the situation. We do know that they're going to be hosting some type of Capcom showcase in mid to late June. They always usually do, especially since E3 has kind of gone by the wayside. So we do expect Capcom to host their own presentation at some point in time next month. They haven't revealed that officially yet, but that has also been rumored. So at the end of the day, would we expect, realistically expect, Capcom to showcase something with Monster Hunter here? Probably I'm going to lease on a slightly maybe, maybe not, not really, uh, because only we know that Ryoso Sujimoto specifically spoke about, you know, their big hopes for Tokyo Game Show, which is a Japanese specifically centric event. That event usually takes place here for us in North America in the middle of the night. So, you know, we have to uh, pretty much stay up relatively late. Uh, in, in previous years, they have had, you know, presentations at 3 o'clock in the morning here for North American viewers. So, you know, they don't necessarily care about where, whether we're watching or not. They know the news will get to us in the morning whenever we get up. And I've had to stay up relatively late to showcase, you know, any news coming out of Tokyo Game Show from Capcom, specifically Monster Hunter in the past. I believe they did some free title update reveal uh, for base Monster Hunter Rise relatively early on in that game's life cycle. So, you know, it was one of those things. Now, the only caveat that I would put here is that it, I kind of also wanted to tie this in because I wanted to talk about this in a separate video, but I never really got around to it. So I guess it's worth mentioning here is that um, the most recent Capcom fiscal report. Now, most Japanese companies just recently put out the report. This is where we got the information regarding like Nintendo's already at 124 million and Nintendo Switch is sold worldwide and stuff like that. So they're just pretty much right next to the PlayStation 2 or something like that, not too far behind. And also people were like complaining that maybe they're not going to be able to reach PS2 sales, which I think is a little bit silly. I think the Switch will eventually reach that milestone. But nonetheless, uh, Japanese publishers and companies were putting up their fiscal reports and Capcom was once amongst them. And of course they reported record breaking sales like they usually do. Monster Hunter leading the charge as they always do, you know, with some break, you know, being one of the most best seller games that they had in the, within the past fiscal year. Of course it did release within the last years on Nintendo Switch and Steam and then just recently again on PlayStation, Xbox and PC Windows. So it's doing relatively well. However, in their fiscal report, they do specifically mention that the back end, this is all in Japanese, so there's some light translations uh, floating up on the internet, but I did some manual translating on myself, and they do specifically mention that they do have major surprises for the Monster Hunter fandom for fiscal 2023. So fiscal for them essentially means April 1st, which was a, of course about a month and a half ago by now, all the way to April 1st, 2024. They don't start at January 1st, they start at April 1st. So it's you know the quadrants of the year, they have three quarters, they start pretty much in April. So that is what they officially said in their fiscal report. They're gonna have a big major year for you know, fiscal 2023 for Monster Hunter fans. So whether that actually means just Monster Hunter now, which I wouldn't expect that to be the case, I would expect them to have something much bigger than just a mobile game, which I put in a separate video just a few days ago talking about Monster Hunter now. Hopefully Capcom is not too upset or Niantic is not too upset about some of the information that I spoke about in that video since I think I spoke about a lot of leaks. So hopefully they, didn't, they don't, haven't taken that video down. I Obviously, I'm recording this uh, a little bit uh, before then. So, you know, uh, that video going live. So hopefully I haven't taken that video down by now. But at the end of the day, if I'm leave, leaving a link in the description below uh, for you guys to check it out if you haven't necessarily done so. So I'm hoping that, of course, they mean more than just a mobile game and, of course, the closing content for Sunbreak. 
maybe that does actually mean a full-on reveal and maybe even more so a release of the next monster hunter 6 monster hunter world 2 paradise whatever they call it uh, maybe it launching actually before april 1st of 2024 but that's just of course hopes and dreams for now but that's about all the information that i have for you guys today if you're brand new to my channel be sure to leave a like and subscribe hit the bell to receive notifications when the videos go up and as always thank you so much for watching see ya